What is going on guys? This is your boy Kenny and we are back with some more Genshin Impact. We are doing the um the interlude to the um to the uh I'm gonna say Adeptus. To the um <laughs> I forget what it is. Ooh, guys, I had a brain fart. <laughs> the Archon Quest. There we go, Archon Quest. I had a brain fart. I was thinking about Adeptus, but I'm like, no, that's not it. So, we are doing, so we're just trying to figure out. Oh, there she is. And Beto. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Violin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't know? Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the jade chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. And the construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Hmm. Beto, you're joining the Jade Chamber contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is... Um... Sorry, uh, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am there. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> good to meet you. A friend of a friend is my friend too. Or, as I like to say, a maid of a crewmate is part of the crew. Miss Yoon is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow. So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. <laughs> Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you have in mind? Precisely. Huh. 
interesting approach. Okay then. All right, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay, let's go! By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. Ooh, what's the opera called? Paima wants to go see it! The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. All right. So that was the four star character I was telling you guys about that I'm going to be not wishing for, but I'm going to get in the um in the uh the lantern right festival uh event that's coming soon and i will be doing i will um i didn't record it last year because i didn't have my um uh, gaming pc i would have had to live stream it so now that i have a uh now that i have my pc i can record it for you guys which i will be doing um and i kind of you know can't wait because of last year if I remember to do so, I will put it in the description so you guys can check it out. Most of you who play Genshin already knows what it is. But for those of you uh, who don't, I will put try to link the event into my uh, description with the link to the video so you guys can go and check it out. It is good. I'm telling y'all. I it, it brought chills last year. I mean, and it was... You would think it was real, but oh my gosh, it really was something to see. I, I can't even sit here and argue about it. It was really, really good. So I'm hoping that it'd be um, the same um, this year. A little different, but the same uh, mm -hmm. same results. Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something for it? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so you must be Miss Yun. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No. We are going to ask you what kinds of ore we need. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. Hmm? What? It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Subrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. 
What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhang have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhang. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Sabrosia. Mount Tianhang. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Hmm. And what is so funny, I think I have a um, teleporter that's... Uh, yeah, I have a teleporter right here. It won't take us long to get there. Wow. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to go with this way. I came to Mount Tianhang once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's... The story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool! A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! <laughs> the legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! <laughs> Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends. But alas, the paths of mortals and Adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. And so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. <laughs> I really like this story. 
but I personally think that perhaps the little girl was not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she has given. Hmm, I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Hmm. I think it's a great story. The ideal story. <laughs> well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get ourselves some Star Splinter Iron! Yeah! If y'all didn't catch that, you know the story was about Shanghai. Use the vision to find this Star Splinter Ore. Uh. Okay. Oh, wait. I forgot. Jung Lee doesn't have a vision. He and uh, he and Ball uh, Bizabal does they don't have uh, visions since they're the Archons. They had Gnosis. See? Let me see. See, Jung Lee doesn't have one. Neither does Ball. It only works with <laughs> That's clever. I like that. Okay. So I gotta use um Kazuha. All the reason why I'm not using um oh we're close. All the reason why I'm not using um Kutau because hers is so small you can barely see it. She don't have the cape. She doesn't have the um cape like um Kazuha. Now we just need to find that Symposium. All right. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master okay. John said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? This is not the village you want to come to ask anybody anything. Last time I was here, I got out. Hey, there really is someone here. Yenjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Guess we're on our own here. Shenma, Yunjin, let's have a look around. Why? Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's... It's... Shen He. Shen He. You're alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Subrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. This place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. you kind sir we'll go and take a look around don't worry Mingjin has no ill intention towards miss shenhe she'll be quite safe okay then let's see what we can find in this village <laughs> now with the lanterite festival we're going to get a chance to see all the leeway's um characters 
so you guys will get a chance to see everybody. I mean, all of the Lee Away characters. And the Wind Trace Festival is coming back too. I'm going to have to finish. I think I did um, do that one, so I might not record that one because I need that as a live stream. What's this? And y'all yeah, think I'm gonna read all of that? So, Shenha is the divine damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shenha said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. No, don't do that. Come on. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, I think we gotta look. We gotta look, look around a little bit more. Hold on, did I see the area where I was supposed to? Okay, I think we're gonna go up here and see what we can find up this way. Ooh, Core Lapis. I need to be getting some more of that. Uh, Am I in the right area? Y'all yeah, know I get lost pretty quickly. Uh, hold on, let me see. Okay, there are no more records here. I mean, the thing is... We're in the right area, but... Sure. Uh, let's go in here and see it. And you can actually see there's nothing in here. supposed to happen. Oh, there it is. Okay. See, you, nobody can see that little bit of light right there. Oh my god. So it seems that Shenha's father thought he was summoning a benevolent deity using a magic incantation. But in fact, he summoned an evil god's remains, which took the form of a monster. His obsessive yearning for his deceased wife led to a terrible tragedy. The villagers moved away in fear, without ever learning the truth. And now, this place is deserted. Still, 
I do wonder what the connection is between Shen He and Mingjun. Didn't she just say uncle? They must have been here. everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Oh, Kazuha, get up. I'm aware. Man, every time you look up some I'm not even trying to jump up. And he's climbing up on everything. We need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhong at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium. Let's go back and tell Shen Hu the news! Alright. <laughs> heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still... Hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shinha, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. She is so bright and dead. Can you read the room? Shinha, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hmm. Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenha, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts, so I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. <laughs> but, uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others, is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day, I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua, Yijin, come to the chit-chat! Let's go! 
Uh, Finha. Finha, could you like make her on alive again for us, please? Can you like make her disappear forever? Treasure hoarders. Oh, they're all level 91? Oh, dang. Because they used to be like level 80. Wait. I follow the wind. And I need to come over here and fight some of these treasure hoarders, too. I hope I didn't let's hope I did not um What brings you here? The question is, we found a solution to the danger in the sea. Nin Guang didn't tell you. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. Wow. Y'all already know I have Emo Boy already. He was my very first um, promoted five star. And yes, I love Zhao. I did, I mean, I got him built. Um, let me see. I got him built. Um, I just need to get him a little bit more, you know, where I want him. Got all of his uh, artifacts. Let's see. Everything on him is really, really good. All of his, uh, I mean, uh... I just got to get his talents up a little bit more. Uh, got to get him up to at least eight. So I got to get some more scrolls. For, I mean, some more books. All right. Um, so we got to go back to Leeway Harbor. So yes, I have Emo Boy. I've had him one year um, come to... No, actually, I got him in February. But his banner is up right now. Um, his banner is up right now. Um, no, I am not wishing for him. I don't need any constellations on him. 
but I do like him to wait. Now, time um, when he comes back around, yeah, I may um, wish for some constellations for him to make him a little bit stronger. But for right now, I am good with what I have. And Kazuha is supposed to be coming back soon too, but I like my Kazuha the way he is. And y'all already know who I'm waiting for. He was in last episode. Oh, goodness. So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to shine. <laughs> Hey everyone, how's the A-Team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and it says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry, <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master John. We should look into the Adepti sigils next. But where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this then? <laughs> yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the adept eye arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. <laughs> mm. Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else <laughs> For some reason, I'm liking Paimon's dumbass right about now. I don't know why, but I am. But guys, we're going to end it here. I don't want it to get too long. It almost got really, really long. But come back and check us out. We're going to be going on until the end of the story. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget what Zhao said because something about what he said is about to get really nasty. And I will see you guys later.